in the previous lesson, we fixed the business logic in our form by only rendering the confirmed password label when the form is in the registration mode. So everything is correctly rendering on the screen. So of course, the next step is to add a second password field for the user to confirm their password. And much like the label, we want to only conditionally render this when the user is in registration mode. So that JSX should live in here, right? The exact same logic applies. We're going to run into an issue in React and we're going to talk about how we can solve it in this lesson and the upcoming ones as well. So I'm going to take inspiration from our input above because our second one is going to be very similar. So I'm going to copy this password input and I'm gonna paste it immediately below my label, right? And our class name is going to stay the same and our type is going to stay the same, but before I forget, I want to change this ID to be confirmed password, just so that it matches the HTML for above. But you can see, uh, regardless of that small fix, we have this huge blob of red, this huge ESLint violation. This is invalid React code. And when I save this, you'll see, not only is it giving us an error in VS Code, but we're actually going to get a complete compilation problem in the browser. So the app will not work at all. So you can see the error right here when I hover my mouse, JSX expressions must have one parent element. We talked about this earlier in the course when we were talking about the render method. Whenever you have any kind of JSX evaluation, such as the return method of a React render method or a function component for that matter, there can only be one top level HTML or JSX element, right? In this case, we have one top level div and that is the complete return value of the render method. So what we cannot have is multiple adjacent sibling elements as the final return value. So for example, I can totally have an H1 as a return value uh, for a component's render method, right? But I can't have both an H1 and an H2. Uh, and JavaScript and React gets confused because remember at the end of the day, it all begins with a single React create element function call and it needs some starter element that's going to be the parent that kind of houses or nests all of the other elements, right? It's the same idea in regular HTML where we start everything off with that top level HTML tag. It's the same idea here, but on a component level. And the same rules apply right here in this kind of small chunk of JSX that we've defined. This is almost like a separate scope or block because we are conditionally rendering this bit of JSX only if this thing evaluates true. So in this kind of scope, React wants the same thing. It says, you can't just give me these two top level uh, parents of both label and input. I can only have one, right? You can nest as many children as you want in that one element, but you can only give me one top level uh, parent element. And that's the exact same error we see in the browser. You can see it says adjacent JSX elements. Adjacent just means side to side, which is what label and input are. Adjacent JSX elements must be wrapped in an enclosing tag. In other words, this error is telling us it wants us to give a parent to these two elements, all right? So one solution that's kind of perhaps obvious is that we simply wrap these two in some kind of parent level element. Now, this is not the best solution in React because there is a specific solution for this problem that we will discover in the uh, next lesson. But before we get there, let me show you the simplest solution, right? And that is wrapping both of these in some kind of top level element. So a simple one here could be something like a div. So right here, I will add a div and then take my closing div tag, add it after my input. Once I save and Prettier does its work, you'll see that the error goes away. And now we have one top level parent element of the div being returned from this JSX expression. That's totally valid. And thus we can nest our former parent elements of label and input inside the div. So we could totally have them side by side as long as they're both not the top level return value. We can only have one top level parent element, all right? So I'm gonna save this. You can see on the right-hand side, everything is correctly appearing. We now have confirmed password, but only in registration mode. So that label and that password field is only appearing in one of our two modes. So as I mentioned, this is a suitable solution in the sense that it technically works, and you might see this in older code bases, but because this is such a common problem in React, the React development team actually introduced a specific solution for this called Fragments, and we will explore them in the very next lesson.